Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Incralution, a minimalist roguelite survival incremental game, which I'm very excited to check out here. I, I love all of that stuff. Uh, we will see how good I can be at figuring it out at first pass here, because it looks like a lot, but I am, uh, I'm excited to figure out that a lot. Uh, so... Basically, he's going to be taking elements from uh, from idle, incremental style games, but you're mostly just using the time management aspect of that. You can do an action, you can queue up an action, uh, and you have different stats up here. Some, some element of them is only on each life before you eventually die, and there is a little bit of the instinctual experience that you will get as well that will carry into a second life that you have after your one character does die eventually you will succumb to death you will eventually succumb to death your current health decay this decides how fast your health declines per second increases by 25 percent per minute that this generation is alive so let's very briefly pull up the tutorial screen we're not going to go through it i mean maybe, maybe we will we'll, we'll briefly poke through it here but uh I'm, ex I'm very excited for this uh, wall of text. Survival. Incrolution is about surviving for as long as you can. In the top, you can see the time your current generation has been alive for. It determines your reward you receive for this life when you die. Health goes down by your health decay per second. The longer you're alive, the faster your health decay will be. It's restored by eating food, which is consumed automatically once every five seconds per food type, if your inventory has any. Eventually, you will not be able to keep up with your health decay, but death is not the end. You'll be able to reincarnate with additional benefits. The longer you survive, the better those benefits will be. During your life, you can do various things to survive. Jobs are used to gather foods or resources. Construction can be utilized to build structures that help with your survival. And exploration is used to progress in the story to unlock new things. Constructions consume resources as they progress and don't require all resources at once, which means you can complete them in multiple steps. Every action can be either run or queued. When you run an action, it'll start right away. Anything you were doing before will be moved to the top of the queue. When you queue an action, it'll start after the other actions in your queue have finished. When your queue is empty, the game will pause until you start a new action so you don't lose any of your precious time. Every action uses a skill such as farming or woodcutting. Skills consist of two leveling types, generation levels and instinct levels. Generation levels level up faster and provide a bigger benefit. Instinct levels level up slower but persist through death, so they will improve how well you perform at actions that use that skill in all following lives. The combination of these levels determines the speed at which you can perform these actions that use this skill, as well as the experience per second for both. And then we can, it says we can pull this back up. So let us, with that all in mind, Let's see what the heck we can do. I First of all, where is my inventory? I, I guess maybe we will find out after we... Uh, step one, let's just immediately gather berries and see if we can figure it out. Okay. So we've, we've gathered a couple berries here. So theoretically, it says every five seconds, we are going to eat eat food per every type of food we have. So let's maybe uh, we'll add this to the queue. Oh, I thought that maybe we could. So here's the thing. It's like, it just keeps on doing these individual things. Uh, because they are, I mean, I guess there are things that don't technically have an end here. So we'll just run that until we get a couple berries. I don't know, maybe like five. We're getting some, uh, some farming stats up. We'll drop that. Okay. So we got five there. So the, the thing that... I read there that is an interesting note is that it's five seconds per food type. So what if we were to find another, uh, there are just some bushes nearby. Perhaps there's more interesting things. 20 seconds exploration speed increases with your agility skill. So yeah, like what if we maybe went and found uh, a couple other, you know, a couple other things we could eat. Increase your inventory size by five. Uh, is that the amount of mo maximum things we can have or per stack? Uh, lowers health decay by 50%, but does not prevent it from going up again. Ooh, wait. So that actually does seem quite useful. So getting ourselves... I got. I also got to mention, this music is not part of the game. This music is from Polybridge. A fantastic soundtrack. This, it's just a, a no-frills experience, this game. You 
bring your own BYOS, bring your own soundtrack. Uh, let us consider, so we have a couple options here. We don't have a lot of tools, uh, tools at our disposal for different things to do, but I'm still wondering if maybe we will, let's start the exploration and then we'll maybe go for cutting wood afterwards. We'll, we'll queue that up second. So it's a zero second timer went down on the food, but I guess, was that because we were in the middle of uh, doing something or it's zero, then we're gonna eat a little bit of food, theoretically. Puts us back up to 100. So, oh, it's waiting to eat it and like when we need five health. That's actually incredibly useful. But we can catch fish now. Let me queue that up. So here's the thing. How do we, like, I wish we could maybe, and maybe we can, queue something up for just one action. So let's also, we, uh, by exploring, we've explored the area right here. Oh, look at that. It's a speed. Oh my God. It has like a little speed run tracker for how well you did compared to the last run. Okay. Uh, 37 seconds in, we've explored the area. After exploring the area, you found a lake. There appears to be fish in it. Perhaps you can catch some. So we, we did catch some fish now. Uh, yuck. Perhaps it is edible when cooked. Okay. So we actually will maybe want to start a campfire. We need five wood for that. So let's um, let's add that to the queue and then cut wood. Does that make it so we will switch to making the campfire as soon as we have enough wood? It does not. Okay. So we'll make this for now. Explore the cave. All right. Okay. So we made our campfire. Cook fish. We can cook our fish now. Cook one fish per completion. 20 health when eaten. Completes every completes every 22.5 seconds. So, I mean, we only have one fish. Let's get the fish cooking. Okay, so as soon as we hit 80, then we will eat the fish. You know what? Let's, uh, we'll queue up catching another fish and then cooking another fish. We'll, we'll get that ready. I mean, that seems like a very cost-effective thing to do for time. Cook fish, okay. Good stuff. So we have an another one in. So as soon as we hit 80, then we will uh, we will eat this back up. So that probably gives us enough time to justify justify cutting some more wood. Maybe potentially even getting ourselves to the point where we could build our house. We'll, we'll 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 just take a we'll take stock here. So we got one one wood down. Our wood cutting is getting pretty good. So yeah, the, the better, the more we do, the more our multiplier goes up there. So we uh, are currently level three. We're currently level three. We're almost a level two instinctually. That's actually pretty good. Okay, so we've got our fish. Let's um, let's change this to cook fish, catfish, cat catfish, catch fish. Uh, back to cutting wood. So we caught fish, cook fish, cut wood. Gotcha. All right. Maybe there is a way to just add one specific to the queue. So we are going to probably catch fish. Catch fish. Cook fish. Cut wood. Same deal. That's going to be our jam for right now. We got... Okay. So we... Okay. So that's right. We got the 10 wood there. So we don't, don't have enough um, room to stack the wood properly. So we could either get the wooden cart or we could begin building the wooden hut and just jam in like half of it there. All right, let's uh, catch fish. Stop me, you heard this one before. Catch fish. I'm actually going to catch two fish. Okay. Caught two. Let's cook two. Drop the catch fish. Okay, there we go. All right, we'll make the wooden hut. That should be enough there. Uh, we'll queue up cutting some wood for as soon as we're done with uh, working on the hut as much as we can. And then we'll queue up um, queue up the wooden hut as soon as we can't cut any more wood down. Hopefully, we don't need to... Uh, no, we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to mess this up here. Should we gather some berries, actually, too? Uh, since we can have multiple pieces of food at the same time there. It actually seems like it might be a good call. All right, so we're going to eat soon here. How much wood we got? 
eight. I'll tell you what. Yeah, we'll, we'll stop. We'll catch, uh, cut all of the wood there. We'll gather a couple berries. Catch, oops, berries, catch fish. Oh my, the decay rate is getting kind of gnarly. Okay, cook some fish. Cook, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, gather a couple more berries then. <laughs> gather, 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 gather. Okay, we got a couple more berries. All right, maybe we'll be fine. This wooden hut, hopefully when this is done here, it'll cut our decay rate in half, which I guess since it's taken so long to make, we are actually cutting it down by a larger amount. So I guess in that regard, it's probably beneficial for us. To have taken so unbelievably long. All right, so we cut it down back down to six uh, point six five. Let's catch fish, cook fish, gather a couple berries, and then we will explore the cave. Let's gather two berries, three berries, three berries. Okay, two berries. Good deal. Okay, explore the cave. All right, how long does this take? Uh, 44.9 seconds because our agility is not incredible. We probably should make this wooden cart too, like, but it's not, it's not crazy urgent at the moment. How are we doing for life? Uh, should we stop this? We should probably stop this. Or should we? Generation levels reset. Uh, oh wait, no, it's just telling me all the, the stuff we do know already. This is- I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it. Let's- we'll go back, we'll gather a couple berries immediately. Catch fish, cook fish. Oops. Catch fish, cook fish. We got a lot of berries there. So, okay. The cave appears to consist mostly of stone. That's probably useful for construction. It also seems that there's an exit on the other side of the cave. Sadly, there's a rather big spider preventing passage. Oh, interesting. Three raw fish, why not? Okay. Stone hut lowers health decay by 50%. Does not prevent it from going up again. Well, let's think. Fight the cave spider. To reach the other side of the cave, the spider needs to be removed by force. During combat, health decay will increase by 5. Automatically cancel when your health falls below 25%. There's a high chance of being lethal. And you're able to do... There's a high chance of being lethal. And you're able to do anything else. What? Exploration speed increases with your combat skill. Oh, we've unlocked four new skills up here. Or, uh, I guess, theoretically, we probably had fishing this whole time. But, like, it, did they just... Did it, am I mistake, mistaken? All right, combat. So that's just it's going to get better as we uh, as we fight that dang spoiler. Digging. Dig stone. Provide one stone per completion. Use for construction. Health decay will increase by five, like a flat five. Are you saying it multiplies by five or increases by a flat five? I mean, either way right now, I guess that's roughly the same. I kind of want to press this just to see what happens up there. Yeah, no, that's... um, That's gnarly. Okay, we're going to need to make sure we've got like our supplies down pat here. So let's catch uh, a bunch of fish. We'll get the, uh, the cooked fish going here. Just become a fish legend, if I'm going to be honest. Honestly, if we get our instinctual level, we're instinctually up to level four already. That seems pretty good. All right. Catch a bunch. Catch a bunch. I do want to make that stone hut, like, obviously. And we will need to act fast because our health decay is starting to tick up here. Cook those fish. Actually, let's uh, we'll get a couple berries in the meantime, so we waste those. And it's very, very quick to do so. Cook the fish. Get ready to do that. Okay, cook the fish. Good stuff. Then how much is this? It's... Oh, 50 stone. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I'm actually... I kind of... Maybe we want to go for the wooden cart instead. Oh, boy. 
50 wood, 20 stone. Holy moly. That's a pretty big barrier for us. Um, fighting the spider doesn't feel smart. I also kind of want to do it because I'm a wild boy. Oh my god, look at our health. Oh my god. Oh my god. We can only use it every five seconds, so we're actually falling quite low. But look at all this work we're doing. We're getting, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, we're at 1.25 natural health decay here, which is quite scary. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I shouldn't be doing it. Okay, let's catch two fish. Cook fish. Gather berries. Queue up. Okay. So we can get both of those going. Uh, catch fish, cook fish. Oh my god, man. Oh my god. Oh, it's spiced. Just catch the second fish. Drop it. Cook fish. Okay. Um. <laughs> the amount of stuff we need to do to fight the cave spider and not die is, uh, is extreme. But getting this stuff to make the wooden cart that increases our, our, our hold by five, which I guess we, does it matter? Do we need to do that? I almost think that if like, let's work on cutting wood. We, we're going to need that. We might as well preemptively get ourselves set up with that a little bit. And it's a really good stat. Like if we're just thinking in a, in a meta sense right now, what our future generations will hopefully will want them to be good at cutting wood is something that you will want them to be good at because it's such an immediate immediately useful thing that I think it'll make a lot of sense to prioritize. Oh, we have to start with the stone. Well, okay then. Well, okay then. I did not know that that was a thing. Okay, so we have to start with the wood. Wait. We have to start with both here. Let's dig up one stone. We need to watch our health, though. This is not good. We'll gather a couple berries. Catch fish, cook fish. Stop that. Stop that. Okay. Okay, cook fish. Get ready to stop that. Oh, I mean, we don't have to worry about stopping that. All right. Catch a couple more berries. Catch more berries. Okay, got a bunch. maybe catch like oh god our de our health decay is getting gnarly cook a couple more fish though cook a couple more fish though cook, 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 cook. all right god what do we even do what do we even do I can't work on wait we can work on the stone hut now okay because we do have one stone oh well it's letting me work on it a little bit more now and then it said no Okay, so it looks like it, we need we need both wood and stone simultaneously in order to be working on that. Um, I think we are our days are like so numbered here. Like I mean they they've been numbered from the moment we've started I guess but like you know what I'm saying. So we'll get some gathering some berries going one, two, three, four. Maybe let's even let's just let's stack this up to ten for all I care. As much as we can. Cause it will go back down. Bang. Bang. Catch fish. Maybe we just let it go. You know? Don't hold me back anymore. What if we just caught like ten fish? What if we just let ourselves catch ten fish? Could we do that? This is a gambit. This is a wild boy strat right here. I mean, it's maybe how you're supposed to do it, like with the action cue and everything being how it is with the stopping starting. Maybe you're intended to prioritize doing a single action a lot of times. This is scary, though. This is getting scary. Our decay rate is 2.4. Oh, I'm just pushing it just to see if I can. All right. Okay. We eat. We're going to eat fish. We're good. We're good. 
Let's gather a couple more berries before we go back to uh, cooking fish. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the ten berries. This is this is nuts, man. Imagine if you could like unlock a another oops another person, you know, and you had to micromanage two of these at the same time. That would be disgusting, but also very cool. <laughs> Okay, we've got a very, very large amount of cooked fish here. Back at it again at the stone grind, I'd say. Can we let this ride? My gut tells me hell no. <laughs> My gut tells me no, not even close. We will need to stop. But what are we at? We're at two stone, two out of ten stone. I don't know, maybe there's a chance. I like this though. This is a, this is a quaint little uh, little minimalist kind of survival experience baked down to the decision making processes, and and that's it. But like, it's very very in depth. Our instinct level is actually quite. Oh my god, we have a level ten instinct fishing. So if we start, we're a level ten fisherman like right away. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm dying so fast now. Oh my god, I'm dying so unbelievably fast now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm dead, man. Holy mother of god. <laughs> yeah, there's no chance. There was no way. There was no way here. There was never any chance. There was never any chance here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just doing everything I can to not immediate die. Holy crap, the health decay. Maybe I just go out swinging, man. Let's let's, let's go out uh, and we'll see how the, the second life is. What do we want to be really good at? For our next life. Honestly. Let's go out the way we were meant to. Let's catch fish until we die. Gathering berries actually might be a smart way to go though. Because could, you could stall it out. Yeah this decay. We're at, oh my god this decay rate. The, we just we needed to get the stone hut made. But we just couldn't. We just could not. Oof. You've reached 102 plus 2 health. Oh, we gained 2 maximum health. Ooh, that actually, that helps a lot. Auto job, complete this action 200 times to unlock automation. What? Okay. Okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie. Our time was mostly spent fishing. This is a nice little screen here. Should we reincarnate? Let's reincarnate. Yeah, we're already like fine, you know, in, in a lot of these areas. I, I'm i gonna be honest. Let's explore immediately. Let's explore immediately. We are, we're doing okay. Like our fishing stat is incredible. Let's try and use that to our advantage, you know? And also of course, like of course we'll beat our speed run time there. But let's just immediately get a Nasty, nasty stack of fish. Actually, we'll need to get a couple berries. Well, will we? I don't know. Maybe we won't. Because we have to get a campfire. We need So we need five wood. Okay, we'll get five wood. We'll make a campfire. We'll catch fish. We'll see if we can do all of this stuff before we, like, actually hit the death marker. Look at that. Oh, my God. They, like, have speed run splits. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. All right. And can it? Okay. Campfire. I think we might be able to make this all happen in time. We'll, we'll can the, the catch fish and we'll go for cook fish. We'll cook our fish first. Then we'll queue up catching fish. We'll catch 10 fish. We'll cook 10 fish. And then we will go to town and eventually cut down the um, our, our meter by 50% with the wooden hut. Unless we want to explore the cave. Hmm. hmm. I don't know. That might be the strat. 
It could be. We're not... Wait. Oh, I was going to say. All right. I think we don't die, though. I don't... I, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We should probably move towards cutting cutting, <laughs> cutting down the, the decay. This is a wild boy play. This is a wild boy play indeed. But I kind of dig it. We're, 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 just, we're tunnel visioning to see what happens. Because we're not going to die. We're not going to die. We're going to have a lot of fish. We're going to be very good at fishing in our in our future. Like, we're going to become a fishing legend. Okay. We got a lot of backup here. We can go for the wooden hut, which is, what, 10? 20, 20 wood. So we'll do that. We'll prioritize this, prioritize that, prioritize that. Right? And then back to prioritizing that again, because we, we will not be done. But yeah, this is quite nice. It's a, it's a quaint time. I'm really enjoying myself in a, in a way that um, I'm not going to say that I wouldn't have like years ago. But I, I feel like the past few years, I've really, past like one year, maybe two years, I've really, really, really just started to super appreciate, appreciate raw strategy and raw game, like gameplay and mechanics even at the expense of like any visual representation, because I feel like a lot of times you can um, you can fill in the gaps with your mind, you know, like a genuine one of my game of the year, like if one of my games of the year is Card Survival Tropical Island, which it's it has it has visuals, but they're not like the main core uh, front at all. Like a lot of people would say that they aren't great. I like them. I think they're charming, but like. This cuts out all pretense of caring about any kind of visuals whatsoever. Like, I'm kind of... Right now, I'm just sitting here. I, I had my, my processes planned out. I did it all in batches of 10, so I could really just set it and forget it here. So I'm curious how the um, automation takes it. You could probably really end up automating this early game process so you don't have to do jack squat, which would be interesting. Because this was a... Yeah, skipping the berries, like, mixing them all together and just going all in on fishing... It's feeling like it's pretty decent. We're going to have this wooden hut very shortly here. And then after that's made, I guess we'll probably explore the cave. Unless... I mean, maybe we'll catch fish, cook fish. Explore cave. Catch fish, cook fish, explore cave. So yeah, we're back down to 0.6 health decay. But I also like the meta progress aspect of it. it kind of it, that's where it kind of is bringing back that sort of idle game clicker kind of experience. But this is like it's it is there's more strategic involvement than like your run of the mill typical plain old Jane old. Sorry, about a man who are too afraid, too afraid to fly. Sorry, never did land. Plain old kind of. Um, yeah, idle game you would find on on the app store. Like obviously, there's, there's some great idle games where there is strategy and things to do, but most of them it's kind of just like let it run forever. This you could prioritize a build and then you can run it against splits. That sounds that that aspect I think is so cool, so cool. I mean, I'm 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 all in right now. It's this is the kind of thing I could see myself playing like just every morning just for a, a few hours popping it open and seeing what happens all right we're exploring our cave now i think that we are probably there's a chance we're behind the curve on exploring the cave compared to last time like you could do challenge runs of this in this in the sense that you could um you could just never upload upgrade a specific stat but like up here this is right reminding me almost of like a runescape or something you know it's just that raw, satisfying feeling of making number go bigger, but there is more, there's more elements tied to each number that is going bigger than your average idle game, because typically it's one number go bigger and it's money. And I don't find that very interesting. Yeah, we we, uh, we are definitely behind on that, that split. <laughs> we are toast on that split. I do want to fight the cave spider. I definitely want to see what's past the cave spider. I want to know. I got to know. I want to know. I got to know. Should we... I mean, okay, so... Making the wooden cart... 
maybe they, it unlocks something afterwards. Like, it probably unlocks a stone cart, cart or something, I guess. That doesn't make a lot of sense, but maybe it does. We're thinking here. I mean, we're, we're, we're paused, so we're all, we're all good. We can think. I want to make the stone hut. That I definitely want to do. Big part of me wants to gather, like, ten berries before we start, and then we go... Dig stone, cut wood, stone hut. I guess we'll prioritize it in that way there. But, like, yeah, just the, the thought that you could potentially get these to ridiculous levels. I don't know how much it eventually goes. Generation levels increase the multiplier by 5% with every level. Okay, okay. Uh, instinct increases it by 1%. Oh, okay, okay. Instinct increases by 1%. I see. So we are level 17 in instinct, but that only increases it by 1.18%. So it, it makes a very noticeable impact. Over the course of runs of this, it will absolutely do something one way or another. A million to one. Absolutely. But this would be like a great little podcast game or something. Like either, <laughs> either you know, for you to play and then listen to or to do a podcast over it. Because, yeah, we, we've got this automation. We're, just, we're watching our meters here. We're watching our cooked fish and everything. We've got the 10 berries to keep us from getting to the point where we need to use our cooked fish. Uh, so ho to hopefully keep them going longer. Because, boy, we really need to prioritize the stone hut. Because if this gets to... I don't know, man. It's it's going to be gnarly. This whole thing, it's going to be gnarly no matter what. 20, like, the amount of work that needs to be done here. Th this feels like a massive, 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 massive ba bottleneck. Battleneck? Battleneck. I mean, it is a battleneck, I guess, technically. Like, I feel like there's probably a way to just fight the cave spider by uh, slamming 10, 10 cooked fish and uh 10 berries against him might honestly be enough oh my god we haven't even started cutting the wood yet oh we only have four cooked fish too so it's like ay ay i mean we i was hoping foolishly that we would be like halfway done with the stone hut we 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 cut wood a lot faster than we gather stone obviously we've worked on that stat a lot more also i think it might innately yeah it might innately take more Hoi oi oi. Hoi oi oi. Yeah, we're we're getting we're getting shrekt though. Getting absolutely shrekt. We, maybe we just don't care about the stone hut. You know? Maybe that's the play. Maybe you don't care about the stone hut until after the cave spider. Cause you're gonna if you can swing that, if you can get through that, you are gonna be lowering I don't know. There's there's a chance. There's a chance. Wait, why why are you not finishing this? So we, we really do need like the wood. Okay. Strange. That that's the aspect I'm confused by right here. So like you have to do it really, really in chunks here. So if we have ten ten more wood would probably make us put another four stone in? If I'm understanding this maybe correctly, but we got to say, screw this. We got to go for the, the berries. This, this ain't happening. This ain't happening on this life. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Oh, God. Oh, God. We got to stop with that right now immediately. Yeah, it's just getting out of control. It's getting out of control. Okay. catch. Can I catch two fish? And then go for it. Yep. Yeah. Holy moly. Yeah. Like, we got to figure out what our decay decay rate that we actually just cannot progress anymore for is. Because, like, we can't get the stone hut done in time for us to... I, I feel like we don't have the time currently to get that done without dying. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But it definitely feels that way. Okay. We have a couple cooked fish. <laughs> whatever. I mean, whatever. Um, so something that we need to... What, what, what do we need to prioritize the most? 
I mean, construction skill, maybe wood cutting, certainly it, it is proving to be a very important tool for us. So maybe we would cut until we die and we just rock that like whatever we get, we get, or, I mean, I don't know. Let's, let's give it a go. Dream big. Maybe we'll, <laughs> maybe we'll get halfway done with this. I mean, our construction stat is going up. That's something too, you know, tis with tis, tis with tis. I don't know. It's, I, I like the idea. Let's gather berries till we die. I actually like that idea because we will last longer. And it's something that we could try and utilize right away. Like you can see our, our farming stat versus our fishing stat is trash. Trash, man. All right. Let's modify our strat a bit. Let's modify our strat a little bit here. Oh, wait. Okay. Cut wood. Cut wood until we die in two seconds. We gave it our best. We got another max HP up. So I feel like we... we uh, Did we last less time? Is that true? I think we want to go longer before we build our wooden cart. Or wooden hut. We, we still have never built a wooden cart. Like, here's the thing. I'm trying to figure out why this is really that useful. That's That's the big thing. Why would I want to use my 10 wood for something like this right now? Why would I do that? Why would I want to right now? In the, in like, it, it would, it's the kind of thing where if there was like movement back and forth between objectives, like between doing this job to another job, if, if there was like a flat amount of time that was added on and there was like time lost by running back and forth, like having bigger inventory in like a an MMO or an actual like an open world RPG or something. Obviously, yes, more inventory space. I see that saving a lot of time. I don't know why that would save me any time really right now. I don't know. So, I'm going to say screw it. Let's explore the area. We should um we should beat our past time theoretically. We haven't done anything else. I can't imagine why we would... Oh, my God. We haven't... We, we, our fishing is, is cracked. <laughs> our fishing is cracked. Okay. Oh, shaved off 0.789 seconds. Oh, you love to see it. <laughs> Cut five wood. Make a campfire. Catch fish. Two. Okay, so one. Two. Three. Our wood cutting is not too bad either. Four. You think it should be better, though. Bap. Can it. Make the campfire. Catch fish. I, I do like this idea. But I think let's... um. Yeah, let's make the hut later. Let's make the hut later so it cuts down more. Uh, like, because here's the thing: if you if you take down fifty percent of one decay, it chops down to 0. 0.5. So it's it's subtracting 0. 0.5 total. Uh, if we had two decay and we lost fifty percent, then it chops down an entire one decay. So I think we kind of want to wait. To make the wooden hut in fact we could make the wooden hut um like 19 out of 20 can it and then finish it up literally at the last second when we are about to like nearly pass away like i think that could work also were we able to do this last time without dying the full do the full 10 were we able to i don't know if we were able to do the full 10 So we'll gather the 10 berries as well. We're going to eat a bunch of fish here, obviously. Like, sure. Sure, 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 sure. Bop, bop, bop. All right. Cooked fish. Got our berries. I'll explore the cave after we got maxed out berries. 
And then after that, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we try and just brute force. Maybe try and brute force the spider right away. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's a world where we can do that. Double explore the cave. I don't think we can explore it twice. Our fishing is at 1.57. Incredible. Incredible. Getting it to the point where, yeah, like, it, it's very feasible to think these things could eventually uh, be at, like, ten times multipliers after, like, a very long time playing. That's, it's, it, it's interesting. It's a nice concept. Really, really honing in on... Like some of the elements uh, that are that are fun about permadeath, permadeath games, but also taking that element of meta progression and leaning into it heavily. I, I'm kind of like I'm up two minds about roguelite games, or you know, roguelikes with meta progression. Roguelites often is t typically the, the separator here. Uh, do I do it? Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's brutal. Uh, I'm typically of two minds. I'm like, I'm either like go, go all the way, and have that be like really the point, like a rogue legacy, or don't have it at all. This is obviously gone all the way with it. Okay, we got a shot here. At like, obviously not winning, but okay. So let's go back to catching fish, cook fish. Maybe we only do a couple fish, cook fish, then we work on making this wooden hut now that our meter is actually kind of destroyed. Yeah, we're at 1.21. It's it's actually it's getting terrible. I think that we I think we leaned into it too far. I think it was a fun idea that is not going to work. I think it was a fun concept that has no chance of working. I mean, it's got a shot, but it's just... I don't know. Maybe if we if we can cut wood like a son of a gun. I think we're toast before we have any shot, though. I think I think we went a little too ham. Trying to trying to meme it out there. I think we've uh, accidentally memed ourselves. Yeah, it just takes us too long to get this wood. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out the time. Like, if we could have had... If we could have the hut ready to be built at 1.5... I think that that seems kind of like the best call there. So let's do catch fish, cook fish, catch fish, cook fish. Okay, we've got two raw fish, cook, cook, catch two fish again. cut more wood actually wait do we have full wood we have full wood let's uh okay so get ready to put them in the wooden hut i don't know maybe there's a world where we can do this catch fish cook fish cut wood wood hut <laughs> i guess so i guess that's what we do i mean we're actually we're building this better than i thought we're actually i don't know maybe we maybe we can do this how many fish do we can we do two say three and then we say screw it in fact we do that and then let's gather let's gather a couple berries cut wood wood hut i think that we're low like we're not prioritizing berries enough i i think they're not good so that's probably why okay 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 can we do this can we do this oh god it's a timer versus a timer here if we can build this hut, though, we are um, we are going to be losing an entire 1.0 decay, which is super good. We're out of food. The timer's hitting. Oh, my God. Catch two fish. Maybe we catch one fish, honestly. Honestly, I think we can just catch one fish. Catch one fish. Then we catch another fish. Then we cook another fish. We'll catch two fish. I don't know. At, at what point is this a, uh, a futile action? And, you know, like, we're not even gaining anything out of it. And we make the wood hut. Okay, if we can just make this wood hut, there's a chance. Oh, my God. Oh, it would be so satisfying to see this the decay meter go down like crazy. We're going to do it. We're actually going to be able to do it. Oh. Oh. The number. 
Oh, God, seeing that number go down is so satisfying. Let's, uh, we actually, we got a, we got a shot here. Okay. Let's go nuts on, uh, on cooking some more fish here. See, look at that meter go up now. Oh, I've never been so satisfied seeing a red bar go up and down and up and down. Oh, that's so satisfying. Cook fish, um, like mad gather berries fight spider. I think that's the plan. I think that's the plan. Do I think that we can beat the spider? No, not really. Not really. But boy, we we survived a, a pretty good chunk of time here. We were, what, 10 minutes though last time? We could probably survive 10 minutes if we aren't stupid and fight the spider. Like, the spider drastic fight against spider obviously drastically decreases your lifespan when he's a giant cave spider. Uh, who would have freaking thought? All right, but there, we cooked all those. Let's gather uh, up 10 berries. Or, yeah, we'll gather up 10 berries here. Try and delay ourselves from using up all of our cooked fish when we don't need to. But I, I just want to know what's on the other side of the, the uh, cave spider. That's like my top priority of curiosity. Peak curiosity. All right, spider, here we go. Oh, my God. It's just so disgustingly hard. No! I gotta know! I gotta know! Are we gonna- wait! Are we gonna do it? Oh, legendary! Spider removed. Well done. The path to the other side. Let's uh, let's just can everything for a second. Spider removed. Well done. The path to the other side of the cave appears to be clear now. However, it seems like there aren't any berries on the other side, but there are some kind of trees, though. Curious. Curious. Do we just explore just to for for curiosity's sake? See what's on the other side. I think that's. We're at what, 47 minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's um, we'll stock up on berries since we can't do that on the other side. Actually, no, there's no there's no chance we live if we are only doing berries. In fact, we're gonna die anyways. Yeah, we're, we're probably dead anyways. close. I just want to know what's on the other side. I want to know. Have you ever seen the other side of the cave? Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm, I'm willing to die on this, uh, this hill. And, uh, die I will. Okay, fine. I'll catch a dang fish or two. I don't know if it's worth it anymore, though. Is it worth the time? It might not be worth the time anymore. Yeah, I don't know if it saves, like, is that, does it help keep us alive? Even? I don't even know. Yeah, I think so. You've made it to the other side of the cave. It looks like there are apples hanging from the trees. They're edible. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Pick faster. Okay, so the, the, the berry stat helps with the, the, um, apples. Oh. Okay, so that there is maybe a little bit more of an impetus to gather berries early than I thought. So let's um let's pick apples till we die. <laughs> let's just pick apples until we die. It's it fuels us so much. 35 health. Up to plus seven health per second. <sighs> yeah, that is that is clearly the way to go. Like let's just again though. We're we're going to die. We're going to die at this point, but let's um Let's just get it as good at farming before we die as we can for our potential future self. If uh, if we ever play on the channel again, I'm not sure. That's up to you guys. Uh, but hey, maybe I'll maybe I'll play off camera. It looks like you can have multiple saves and stuff that you could import, export stuff like that. Uh, so I don't know. I could play on my own, and we could play together if that is something you guys are interested in. But yeah, this is in <laughs> the name. It, it, it's a twist twister in my brain here. Incrolution. Incrolution, like increment. Oh wait, the what the hell happened? Why? Well, 
game freaks out when I click out of the window. Okay, the apples are actually keeping me alive a lot longer than I thought. Maybe we could have done something, but honestly, it's just like a really good... This is a really good stat to just pick to, to set it and forget it. You know, you could literally just train this stat and then close the game. Like, you could run this stat like a like an idle game and just have it so you're picking apples for, <laughs> or, you know, or eating berries or picking apples forever and then just, uh, you know, you, you get that stat up like crazy. Like, our farming stat is up to 2.34 now. It's already, it, it, like, it, it was not a good stat for us before. It seems like picking... So maybe, like, I think that different higher level things might even help you out. In the sense, like, they give you more experience? Possibly? Because it seems like... Yeah, we we hit the max bar there. What the heck? We hit 103? I, I really... I am surviving so much longer than I thought I would. To the point where I now feel foolish for saying, like, let's just send this out until we die. Our farming stat is at 2.66. It's our best stat now. Apples are busted. Like, obviously, like, we're at 4.4 decay. I'm not going to be able to make a stone hut. So there's a bridge to cross the other side. Can we cross? Wait, a bridge is needed to cross the lake. So what happens if I? Yeah, you, okay. We need a bridge before we can cross the lake. The bridge is 60 wood, 20 stone. Aye, aye, aye. Man, if we get to the point where we don't use an apple until we need it, like, we're, wow. Dang. I can't be killed. These apples are broken. Are we, are we using it on the five second timer or are we using it? Oh my God. We are, we're only, we're using it when we need it. We might, we might actually see we have one apple there. What if we could get to the point where we have two apples? I found the secret to never ending life. Oh my God. I have my farming stat is 3.24. We're going to start the next run. We're going to, we're going to pick berries at a blistering rate. A free 28% extra speed up on berry picking. 1.3? 1.3. So 30% faster we can pick berries just immediately? That's just crazy. I don't know. I thought that I was going to die. There will be a point. There will be a point. So here's the thing. This is how much we lose per second. Apples heal up to uh, 7 per second. So theoretically... You can survive and sustain yourself entirely off of apples until this hits seven, right? It's a compounding, so it increases 0. 0.5 to 0. 0.63 to 0. 0.78, 0. 0.98, 0. 1.23 during the first, first four minutes. Okay. Actual values cannot be affected by constructions. But yeah, you see, look, look at that here. It is getting, it is getting tight. As soon as it's getting close to the seven mark here... You're noticing, yeah. So we should now not be able to fill ourselves up, you would think. You would think. Well, I guess that's not factoring in how fast we can gather them, though. Because we're gathering them fa- Oh my god, wait, how long does it take to get them? Wait, no! But we're gathering one of these every four seconds! What? Wait a minute! <laughs> this is so broken! Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's happening. It's happening. Dot gif. The death is is befalling us, but not until our farming stat went out the window. Oh my god. Oh my god. And the uh, let's see, we run out of songs here from the Polybridge soundtrack played from the beginning here. My god. But anyways, yeah, this has been Incrolution. There is a free demo on uh on Steam that I will. I mean, it's on the page. I'll link it. it. lets you play the first, uh, what is it? The entire first chapter. So seven, roughly seven hours of unpaused content. I mean, that's kind of... Oh, rest in peace. I mean, three extra max life sounds nice. Instinct level of farming going from 1.08 to 1.43. Oh, my God. What if... Uh... <laughs> 51 apples. We ate 51 apples in a row. Oh my god. Auto explore. 
Fight Cave Spider. Oh. So if you fight the Cave Spider nine times, you auto explore, auto job. I'm very curious about what that is. I really want to just like keep going, but I shouldn't. I really, 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 really shouldn't. But yeah, Incolution. It is. Uh, it's quite nice. Seven, approximately seven hundred hours. Okay, currently the story has approximately ninety hours of unpaused content. During early access, it is going to expand up to seven hundred hours of unpaused content, which is just nuts to think about right like that is, that is fundamentally crazy uh uh 700 hours unpaused content meaning per run up to if you want it if you wanted to that seems that seems bizarre it seems bizarre 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 but that, like that's what you get this kind of stuff you know that's what you get this kind of stuff for is for things like that um Wow, very, very fun, simple little, simple conceptual game here. I really enjoy it. Uh, check it out. It is three bucks for the full paid version. Three bucks for a, a game that is going to have 700 hours of unpaused content to it. But I, I mean, I, I guess theoretically you, you are working towards an end per se, per se, right? Like the 700 hours is, is the end then after that. Uh, but hey, Incrolution. Welcome uh, to Retromation. This is Incrolution. Yeah, my name is Retromation. I cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty, typically in rogue lights, which this is a little. It is a bit. Yeah, it is. It, it is. It's got some some forms of it. I I see it. It's it mentions it's a rogue light. I uh, I would say it's it's got rogue light elements to it for sure, in the sense that it's focusing on that the permadeath and the meta progression elements of it. Um, but yeah, had a great, great time with this today. I will probably almost certainly be playing this myself, at least off camera. If there's a lot of people who are interested in this, if you want to see like a podcast vibe out of this boy, then let me know, comment down below, and, uh, perhaps we can make that a reality. Thank you for watching though. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye. Indie games every single day. Subscribe.